welcome to tutorials point now after having learned about different cells which are present in a xylem tissue and the phloem tissue let us now see very briefly the differences between xylem and phloem tissue so the learning objectives are to differentiate between properties of xylem and phloem tissue in the diagram itself clearly the differences are visible that what kind of cells are present in xylem and phloem let us have a brief description so xylem now xylem apart from being a conduction tissue also serves a function of mechanical tissue right so it is generally dead right all of us have studied that xylem have mostly have dead cells so apart from being a conducting tissue of water it also for serves as mechanical tissue but that is not the case with phloem phloem does not serve as mechanical tissue does not provide mechanical strength to the plant now the next point what does the xylem transport yes water what does the phloem transport the food the amino acid the hormones the biomolecules okay now next where is xylem found this also we have discussed xylem is present in the deeper parts inside and phloem is present on the outer side so the location also different there is a difference in location also also of the both the tissues next xylem the cells present in xylem are tracheids vessels xylem fibers and xylem parenchyma and cells present in phloem are the sieve tubes the companion cells the phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers now three out of the four cells in case of xylem are dead so it is mostly a dead tissue but in case of phloem three out of the four cells are living cells so phloem is a living tissue now transport this point is just the same that all the three cells are dead and here the three cells are living and the other one that if only the fibers are dead now the flow flow in case of xylem of water is unidirectional that is from the roots to the tip of the leaf that is one direction which xylem flow follows but in case of phloem the transport of food is bidirectional how bidirectional so that we all know that the leaves are present at the bottom also leaves are present at the top also now food synthesis is happening at leaf so from bottom to top and top to bottom in both the directions transport of food can happen so this was all this was the gist of the differences between xylem and phloem from the exam point of view so i hope that you have understood all the structural elements of xylem and phloem and the differences between them thank you tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning